Welcome back. So I know I've been putting out a lot of videos lately. That's part of my evil master plan because I have a lot of projects coming up. And by a lot of product projects, I mean I'm planning for Elena's first birthday. It's in less than a month now. She'll be, she'll be she'll be 11 months tomorrow. So we're doing a special type of birthday for her because of quarantine, and because by then the newborn baby will be here, God willing. So I have to do a special type of birthday for her, which throws traditional birthdays out the water. I'm going to explain all of that later on. Lots of exciting things coming up. But in order to get to those projects and, you know, so, I, so that I have a month to do it so I'm not stressing myself out, I'm trying to get these other projects out of the way. So that's why I've kind of been like pumping videos out because for all the projects for her birthday, I'm going to do separate YouTube videos for it and tutorials to show you guys how I'm doing the project so you guys can follow along if you ever want to do the same thing. Today, though, um, this project has to be bumped up just in case. And what I'm doing is I'm making um, a baby gown for the new baby, baby Celia. So I bought, I bought this baby gown, of course, from AJ Blanks. How adorable. And I also bought the hat. Oh, it's inside out because, you know, I was getting ready to embroider it. What's nice about these gowns is that they're perfect for embroidery because they have a zipper. So to um, put it on the hoop, make it easier. And of course, as always, AJ Blank's best quality, nice and thick material, great for embroidery. Beautiful color pink for my baby girl. So I already went on to Embrilliance and I set up my whole um, design for her name. So it's just going to say Celia Annalise, which will be her name. Um, if I didn't discuss it before, Celia, it's a name for us that we really loved and we really want to pick and to pay tribute to the late and great queen of salsa, Miss Celia Cruz. If you don't know who she is, please look her up. She is amazing. Um, Afro. Afro-Cuban Latina singer um, and she's just I mean if you ever heard the songs like Kimbara or Guantanamera Guantanamera that's her if you don't know your salsa already so for us she's queen um, I was really broken up when she passed away years ago so it was just a way for us to pay tribute to her um, to name our Delia uh, to name our daughter Celia so we're very excited about that um, so yeah, what I did was I purchased, this is the first time I've ever done this kind of applique. So they're applique letters. Usually when I do applique, I do like designs or numbers. So this time I'm doing applique letters for her gown, for the name Celia. And then Annalise, her middle name will be in um, like a script font. And the same thing with her hat. So the next video after this hopefully should be um, her baby blanket. So I did order her a baby blanket on a separate website and I'm going to embroider that with her name. And it's just a, it's a thin blanket, but it's good for um, swaddling. So that this is all to take to the hospital. So this is why I want to get it done now because I'm um, almost 36 weeks. So, and I'm of course at risk for preterm labor. I have all these other things going on. So I want to hurry up and get this done just in case. So my, de my design's all set up. It's sent to my flash drive. I already put my flash drive in my brother PE800. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I have some other stuff to do today. And I already posted a video. And I already just finished editing another video. So I'm on fire. Look at me. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of film this video in and out. Speed it up. Things like that. So this is my first time doing a baby gown. So we'll see how this goes. Forgive me if I don't line up things correctly and perfectly. I'm doing my best. But thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for supporting me always. Um, I'm just so excited just to see my little channel grow. The little bit that it is, but it's just really exciting. So I'm very happy. So thank you guys, all of you guys.
So real quick, I just wanted to fill, fill you in on what I'm doing here. Each of these letters, since, it's, since they're each applique, they're separate files. So when I put it into in Brilliance, um, they each have their own positioning stitch and tack down stitch and satin stitch. So the way it's set up in in Brilliance and the way that it's set up here on my machine, it will literally do the positioning stitch, the tack down stitch, and then the satin stitch for each letter. And then on top of that, there's another stitch that's like a decoration stitch. So each letter has four different stitches and it would do each one individually. So to make my, to make it faster, put it that way, the easiest way to do it for me is to jump around the steps and force it to do what I want it to do. So it just now did the um, tack down stitch for the letter I and right now I want it to do the tack down stitch for the letter A. But if I let it, the next thing it'll do actually is the satin stitch for the I and I don't want to do that because I want to be able to cut these all at once and not individually. So what I'm doing is I'm going here to the advance a stitch button and then this is to go back one stitch, this is to go back 10 stitches, this is to go back 100 stitches, and then this is to go forward one, 10, or 100. This is to go back one full step, and this is to go forward one full step. So, as I mentioned, there are four different stitches for each letter. At this point, this eye has done two different stitches, so I want to advance it three stitches, or three steps. So I'm going to hit the plus, one, two, three, and hit OK. And when I look, so this is my first step that's going to do next. And if I look in the little viewer window, it shows the letter A as a tack down stitch. And that's what I want it to do. So basically, I'm just advancing and making, forcing it to do whatever step I want it to do when I want it. And um, that's going to make my life so much easier when I go to cut these and do the satin stitches and everything. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.